Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My today's video is going to be on correlation matrix and heat map using Matplotlib and Seaborn libraries. Correlation matrix and heat map both are really useful and very popular in data analytics uh, because correlation matrix gives you how gives you the idea about how the features of your data set relates to each other. And heat map gives the data set a really nice visuals. Uh, you will understand uh, how useful it is when you see them in action. So let's dive in. First, let's do the necessary imports as np, actually numpy I don't need today, import pandas will be good enough. Import pandas, spd, import seaborn uh, as sns, import matplotlib.py uh, plot as plt. Now let's import the data set pd.readcsv in Haynes 2015-2016.csv. Okay, df. Hand. So this is our data set. Uh, I have the link in the description box below. So please uh, feel free to download the data set and follow along. So this is the data set. If you uh, are following my uh, tutorials, then you know that I use this data set a lot. Uh, columns, df columns. These are the columns. They don't look very understandable, but don't worry about it. I'm not going to use this uh, uh all these data set all these features uh, uh so i am going to use just few of them and i'm going to explain what they mean so i would use from here to here so these are the columns i'm going to use so this one is the systolic blood pressure one diastolic blood pressure one systolic blood pressure two diastolic blood pressure two Weight, you can see WT, weight, height, BMI. Okay, DF dot head. This is how the data set looks like. Now, the correlation, how the correlation, okay, no, this is the correlation, okay, DF dot core, as simple as that, core. So, look. It gives you the correlation coefficient of each feature with each every other feature, including its own. Look, systolic systolic blood pressure one and systolic blood pressure one, and co uh, co uh, correlation coefficient is one, because definitely any uh, column, any feature should have a correlation coefficient of one with itself. Uh, is because they're perfectly correlated, right, with with itself. And correlation coefficient of systolic blood pressure one and diastolic blood pressure one is 0 0.31, systolic blood pressure one and systolic blood pressure two is 0.96, systolic blood pressure one and diastolic blood pressure two is 0.27. And this is how you know the, you can interpret the rest of the table. All right, now let's see the heat map. Heat map. So I will pass the data core, this correlation matrix. Let's check. This is how it is. It's too small. I'll make it a little bigger. PLT the bigger, big size uh, equals, uh, I'll put, no, not 19, 10 by 8. Yeah, I like it bigger. So look at it now. The correlation coefficient is very small when when it's very small, like zero. So it's black. That means when you see the color black, it means the correlation coefficient is really small, or zero or close to zero. And when it's very light, that means it's really high or maybe one, just perfect. Because in diagonals, it's all one. So you can see it's uh, almost off white. Okay. Now we can improve it a little bit. 
uh, one thing is uh, I always like uh, to have the uh, data in it. Look, I like the I like to see the values. Sometimes the color is enough, but I like to see the uh, values in it. Then uh, what else I can add? Uh, I can add. Uh, look, uh, you can if you want you can change the color like uh you can put rocket i will put the rocket actually rocket is this same one you can see the default one is rocket i'll show you here this is the color map of seaborne libraries the list of color maps i will uh, i am providing the this link in the description box below so if you can see the first one then the first one is here the first one is rocket so that one is the default one. So if you want, you can use any other one. Like uh, I can use this Mako. So it's very different now. I can put center zero. Okay. So what happens if I put center zero? Look, when I put center zero, it starts from here and ends here. I find it a little bit easier to understand because it's pretty much the same uh, uh, color. Just use a gradient, right? So when you see the darker color, that means the correlation coefficient is very low. When you see the lighter color, the correlation coefficient is really high. So we really don't have this black and this violet all these colors here you just have this greenish the whole uh, the gradient of greenish here so sometimes i like so it starts from here in the center and it ends at the zero so when i put center zero so that's how sometimes i really like to use the center zero and there are some um v min 0.1 V max 0 0.95. You don't need to use this V means V max and V min all the time. It's uh, not necessary lots of time. But if you need a threshold, like here V min 0 0.1, that means my color gradient actually starts in 0 0.1. If you can see here, look, this is 0 0.12 and 0 0.008. 0 0.008 shows really dark color, right? But here 0 0.1. 1, 2, and 0 0.008, they're not very different because color gradient actually starts 0 0.1. So here it shows the color of 0 0.1, not darker than that. Uh, so that's what it does, Vmin and Vmax. If you need a threshold, you can, this is how you can put a threshold on the color. And another thing I can show you that is C bar, this color bar. When you know that uh, this uh, dark color means uh, uh, really a low correlation coefficient and uh, light color means really high correlation coefficient, you, you may want to avoid the color bar itself. Okay, but I actually like to have the color bar, but I'm just showing you. If you want, you can avoid it. In that case, I can put 8 by 8. And you can see here this big region and this big region where uh, correlation coefficient is really low. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, if you thought this video was useful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you soon.